welcome to KSR data vision YouTube channel in this video We'll go through a topic to check if ADF is really a replacement to power BI's power query editor or power BI's data flow now in this video first we'll look into what exactly power query editor can do for us and we also will check how this adf is going to be very important for us and the most important point is we'll see what is the difference between power query editor and azure data factory now as an end result of this video we'll also get to know is adf is going to really be a replacement to power query editor or data flow now to talk about first initially the power query editor we all know that power query editor is a component of power bi which will help us for doing etl process now all the data cleaning transformation extraction everything can be done by one of the component in power bi which is called power query editor it can connect to as many as many any data sources and you can transform the data as you want according to the business need according to the clients request you can change the data and the most importantly it is user friendly though most of the transformations can be done without coding but still we have something called m language by which you can even achieve complex transformations now whatever we are speaking it's all about power query editor we also have something called data flows now what is this data flows data flows is exactly the same replica of power query editor but which is implemented in power bi service whatever you were doing it in power query editor now you can do it in cloud which is going to be power bi service well it's just a replica okay now we do have power query editor we do have data flow now everything we are still able to achieve it now the most important point you need to remember is is this still an effective way of handling big data well power bi's power query editor or data flows comes with a small limitation what is that limitation if you have a very complex data or if i say that we have a big data which is very large in terms of volume and in terms of complex transformations at that time still we can achieve it but we will have some performance issues so this performance issues how this is going to affect us it is going to bring down the entire report performance so whenever someone is opening it or towards a refresh rate it is also going to affect it and we all do not know that mainly we work with pro and premium in pro we do have eight refreshes per day and in premium we have 48 refreshes per day and along with that computation is also important now all this we were doing it in power query editor now we'll talk about azure data factory also now azure data factory is again an etl but it is a cloud-based etl where you can extract transform and load it and it is also useful for data integration as well as a data transformations here also it comes with a very beautiful ui with this ui tool you can still go and achieve your transformations and this is also something i would say which comes with a limited or no coding and to talk about the other advantage it acts like a one-stop shop you can bring the data from anywhere and you can do a lot of transformations and the most importantly this is capable of working with big data because it provides a, a very good infrastructure platform now what is this adf is also doing the same thing power query also is doing the same thing now we will start comparing both and that is where we will compare our power queries power bi's power query or data flow with our azure data factory now if you observe carefully power query is very effective when you are working with the small to medium data whereas adf it works with a very large data and that's the most important advantage of going with azure now coming to the refresh rate as well well adf is like an unlimited refresh or i can say that there is no limit even per day if you set the as many as every minute if you set the refresh also still it will work but we have worked with pro we have worked with premium power query or even power bi's premium account comes only with 48 refreshes now that's a hall tier after 48 you can never refresh now what is a 48 refreshes 
we have 24 hours in 24 hours we can set up to 48 refreshes that means every half an hour you can have the fresh data but even that half an hour is not that suitable if you are working with real-time analysis now that's the second point now coming to the third point of course this is something we need to give a hats off to power query editor because it is very very cheap but when you're talking about adf since you are using the cloud services this is going to be expensive and lastly i would say is scalability is also more in azure data factory whereas it is less in power bi's power query editor or data flow and the most importantly power query editor is been into the system for almost seven years now it supports a lot of functions but azure data factory is now showing its colors so we have a limited functions now as you see there is always a balance between adf and power query editor at one point of time one is better than the other and of course there is always a pros and cons now let's answer the question now will azure data factory which is the adf it will really replace power bi's data flow or power query editor if that is a question well i would say it's, it's very tricky to answer right away but i can show you that adf is better than data flow suppose if you have 10 features obviously you will have pros and cons but at some point of time adf has a slight advantage now as we know that both are microsoft's product and microsoft is continuously working on improving the azure data factory well we all know that at one point of time this can also have a lot of features now is it really required to know both yes definitely yes the reason is well some clients may prefer small data which more transformations or some clients may prefer they have a huge volume with a minimum transformations so it is always to balance it you have to know both well you cannot only rely on power query editor or you cannot rely only on azure data factory well there is always balance required and azure data factory comes with an additional advantage of even implementing the old msbi where you can even create ssis packages you can also create ssis packages you can also create the transformations so it holds an advantage but what is most important is what is most important is i've done a lot of projects in both but one thing what i have understood is both can never be replaced because we do know that both are having pros and cons in terms of expensive in terms of transformations in terms of a li data limit in terms of a refresh limit so everywhere there is a pros and cons and you need to know it rather than saying this is best or that is best i would definitely say that you have to know both so that you can choose the best solution well it's always about going and solving it with the best effective so i would say this will definitely help us to come up with the one effective solutions by knowing both now to answer the question i will not call it as a replace but i will say it is definitely an alternative to data flow well depending on the need depending on the volume depending on the complexity depending on the transformations all is yours you have to choose one this is all about this video thank you so much please subscribe our channel for more videos